Ronnie and today I will show you how to install our speed rail system. The special thing about the speed rail system is that it is mounted with this UV resistant glass fiber reinforced clip and the rail can so to speak float freely within this clip because of thermal expansion. The speed clip is Asymmetrical, that means it has a slightly larger opening here, which has also a slight angle. That means you can easily, in the end, slide in the rail. On the bottom side, we have a ceiling made of EPDM. So first, I'm going to show you how to mount this clip. Every fourth clip must be fixed upside down, that means with the K2 logo uh, on the lower side of the clip, so the rail has an irritation um, on the top side. So now the rail has no clearance anymore. When you calculate your project in our calculation tool K2Base, uh, you will get a report which shows you how many speed clips you need for your project, for your specific project. Whether it is on every crest, on every second crest like here, or even on every third and fourth crest. Important is that uh, although we have clips on every second crest here, we will have to uh, install one here but still on the last crest of the rail we have to install another one. Of course from time to time rails have to be connected to each other and therefore we have um, our speed connector for the speed rail system. Until now the rail is floating in the clips, so it is able to expand to the left and to the right within the clips. Um, so we need a fixation now, um, more or less in the middle of the rail, uh, and we fix the rail with our speed lock. Important is that it is not directly on the rail connector, so our MK2 uh, nut can be uh, inserted into the rail properly. With the speed rail system we can fix our modules with the standard end or XS middle clamp and of course with our universal clamps one end and one mid. If you want to install your modules landscape, there are two possibilities. One is to create a two-layer system with a single rail which will be mounted perpendicular to the speed rail uh, using this climber and the MK2 insertion nut. The 
other option is the installation with our add-ons. Here the rail would be installed in the grid of the modules, which means it is a variation more or less for more exercised installers. So this was the installation of our speed rail system. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us via email or telephone.